welcome back to my myrtle beach real estate video blog and today we're going to talk about what every seller loves to talk about how do we handle multiple offers now let's put the shoe on the other foot and say i'm, I'm representing a buyer and we make an offer on a property and then we discover oh boy there's another offer on the table and now we're instructed to make our highest and best or we know we're competing now so what's my advice to that buyer so a couple of things i mean number one it always boils down to motivation i mean if this home is absolutely perfect for you and your family and um, we've looked for weeks and haven't found the right property i'm going to coach them uh, to how to compete and win I mean, you want to improve the terms. You want to try to tighten up any inspections or closing dates. If you can put more down, uh, obviously we've already presented a pre-qualification letter, but you want to, to even pay a little bit more, yes, a little bit more than you wanted to pay uh, if you know this is a home that you're going to be in for a while. Uh, my first home sale ever, uh, we ended up paying a little bit more representing the buyer than the home was probably worth in that, in that moment, but they loved the house. They ended up staying there for 15 years. So that's how you want to compete. You want to put your, make your best offer. And if, but if you've got options, good news, you don't have to, you, you might get it. You might not. You go on to the next one. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you learned something uh, in the negotiation process. As always, I'm here for you. Call me, email me, or click those links on the page. And I look forward to talking to you next time.